I've been using the AirPods Pro second generations for over a month now, and this is my final review after over a month of actual day-to-day -day usage. First, I had the AirPods Pro first generations, but I found them unreliable and I always had to take them to Apple support for power or connectivity issues. And I had many repairs since I got them soon after launch back in 2019. The AirPods Pro 2 haven't had any issues with hardware yet, which is expected, but still appreciated, and I'm hoping that's how it stays. These AirPods feel solid with good build quality and design, unlike some other wireless earplugs I've come across, especially the Sony WH-1000XM4s that I reviewed at the beginning of this year. Now let's get to the upgrades, firstly with sound quality as Apple advertises. I actually don't like the sound. Maybe it's because I've used a lot of better audio equipment, but I prefer the AirPods too. The sound on these AirPods Pro 2nd Gen just sounds terrible to me. The main issue with sound quality that I've had is with the new adaptive EQ. Sometimes it will get louder in one channel and quieter in the other channel until I adjust the volume a few times and it fixes. I know this is with the adaptive EQ because when I set noise cancellation to off, it disables the adaptive EQ and the issue goes away. This used to be a big problem when the AirPods Pro 2 came out, but software has made this issue less prominent since launch. I'm not sure if there has been any software updates or what's going on, but it does not seem to be that big of an issue anymore, although once in a while it does happen. This wasn't an issue with the AirPods second generation, so I have to say this is worse than the AirPods second generation in this regard. I've also noticed the noise cancellation upgrades. They seem pretty nice for those who need noise cancellation to block out loud sound, but for those who want light noise cancellation, there is no option for a slider to change the intensity of the noise cancelling, like some other earplugs. Transparency mode still seems improved, but it still sounds like you're listening through transparency mode, which I don't see as a problem. The AirPods themselves now have precision finding for finding lost AirPods, and the AirPods also have longer battery life. One note that I do have on the new precision finding thing is that it's not really precision finding, but it just takes the Bluetooth signal and tells you how strong it is and tells you where you should go depending on the signal. Apple says the new AirPods get about six hours and I can kind of confirm that it's around five to six hours usually. A lot better than AirPods 2 and AirPods Pro first gen. I've seen slight battery degradation, I think, but it could be uh, due to the fact that I'm using these a little bit more within the past week or two. And by the way, I have used these every single day since I got them, and they've been flawless for the most part with some minor issues that I haven't even really noted. The biggest noticeable change this year is the case though, as we get speakers on the case finally, and precision finding for finding a lost case. And we can charge the case with an Apple Watch charger now. And I think all of these are a very good use of the case's internal space. I also want to say that I used to glue tiles and air tags to my AirPods case so that I could use those as effectively a speaker. So now I don't have to glue anything to my case. I won't go over any of the new features that you can't notice, like for example the new chips, or anything that's not really noticeable, because the average person doesn't notice or care about any of that. I think that the new AirPods Pro second generations are worth it if you use your AirPods a lot, but not worth it if you rarely use your AirPods or recently upgraded to the AirPods Pro first gens. I wouldn't recommend buying AirPods Pro 1 or AirPods 2 as they're over 3 years old now, and the batteries on those will degrade much quicker than these new AirPods as they only have the Apple rated 4 hours of battery, so in a few years whenever they're degraded, they're only going to last maybe 3 hours instead of 5 with the AirPods Pro 2 after they've degraded a bit. I didn't mention adaptive transparency and that's because it's hard to notice unless you know what you're looking for. It seems like a cool feature, but I had it off for a majority of my time using these. I had it off so I could try to see if this was causing that issue where the channels would get mixed up, and it wasn't, I don't think. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.